Today we have a story time of a kid who thinks a Freddy Fazbear is real, in his house, and out to get him. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Leave a like on the video to claim your free nothing, subscribe, and let's get right into it. So we're going to call the subscriber who sent in this story, we're going to call him Dylan. And uh, by the way, I got that name from the comment section, so leave a comment down below of any names you want me to use. And this story all started one night when Dylan was babysitting this kid in his neighborhood. So Dylan got to the house and, you know, the kid's mom, and we're just going to call the kid Ben because I use Ben for every, like, other name. It's kind of a meme on the channel at this point. Anyways, right, so the kid, a.k.a. Ben, his mom came down, like, greeted him at the door because, you know, uh, Dylan got to the door, rang the doorbell, and, you know, Ben's mom greeted him. And she's like, oh, thank you so much for coming. I know this is kind of on short notice, but I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, all you got to do is just, like, hang out with, you know, D uh, Ben's already been fed. You don't have to give him dinner. All you got to do is just hang out with him for a couple hours. His bedtime is at 9, and uh, afterwards, just kind of stay in the house till we get back, which is going to be around, like, 11 or so, and I really, really do appreciate this. And Dylan's like, oh, it's no problem at all. Like, you know, Ben's a great kid, because this is, like, the second or third time that Dylan has babysat for Ben. Uh, Ben's mom is friends with Dylan's mom. They're not, like, super close, but they're friendly enough, right? So anyways, right, you know, it's it's kind of like a routine babysitting gig. And sure enough, Ben's mom leaves to go do whatever she's going to go ahead and do. And, and it's time for Dylan to start babysitting Ben at this point. And, you know, it's pretty normal in the very beginning. Um, things are kind of chilling until things start to get a little bit weird. So for some reason, I don't remember exactly what, Dylan was like, oh, uh, want me to go get whatever. And, you know, Ben was like, yeah, no, that sounds like a good idea. And Dylan's like, all right, well, that's probably in the basement, so I'm going to go down there. And when, you know, you know, Dylan says, I'm going to go down to the basement, Ben looks at him and goes, no, you can't do that. And, you know, Dylan was really this startled by this because Dylan had gone in the basement before because, he, you know, that's why he knew where whatever he was trying to get was. And, you know, this had never been an issue before. And also, Ben was kind of, he wasn't necessarily a quiet kid, but he wasn't known to have random outbursts for no good reason. So, you know, Dylan was both concerned and confused. So, you know, Dylan turned to Ben and was like, dude, like, what's wrong? Like, is everything okay? And Ben is just looking at him like, you, you don't understand what's down there, man. You, you, you don't know what I've seen. And at this point, right, you know, Dylan's just kind of looking at him like, bro, what are you talking about? Is the boogeyman down there? Is a big scary monster down there? And the kid, a.k.a. Ben, is just looking at him like, you're not going to believe me, but... Freddy Fazbear is down there. And at this point, right, Dylan, you know, Dylan, you know... He, he knows what Five Nights at Freddy's is. If you don't know, Freddy Fazbear is like one of the animatronic characters from this video game. Five Nights at Freddy's is a very fun game. I used to really enjoy it as, as a kid. But anyways, right, Dylan was aware of what that game was. He was at least aware. And he was like, Ben, there's a 0% chance that Freddy Fazbear is down there. And Ben looks at him like, dude, no, you don't understand. So Dylan kind of has like a smirk on his face and he looks at Ben and he's like, all right, you want to make a bet? I'm going to go down there and I bet you like a, a firm high five, right? That uh, I will find zero animatronics. I won't find Freddy Fazbear. I won't find Chica. I won't find any of those guys down there. I bet you a whole high five that, you know, I'll find no one down there. And, you know, I mean... Look, obviously Dylan, like, was just trying to, like, calm Ben's nerves because, you know, he felt bad. Ben was, like, nine or something, so, you know, active imagination, if you, like, to say the least. And Ben was looking at him all kind of scared because he was, like, he was worried for Dylan, man. He was afraid he was going to go down there. It was going to be the bite of 87 all over again. Like, I, I, he can't be having that. And so Ben's like, dude, I don't want you to risk anything. And Dylan looks at him like, Ben. I promise you, I am risking nothing by going into the basement. And so Ben looks at him, because Ben kind of wants, like, him to check anyways. He's like, all right, man, as long as you know what the risks are. So sure enough, right, you know, Dylan opens up, you know, the door to the basement, turns on the lights, starts walking down there, and he's, like, in the middle of, like, yelling up to Ben saying, hey, Ben, like, I mean, I can't see anything so far. As I said, Freddy Fazbear isn't re And as he's like finishing that sentence, he hears like a he hears like a scream from Ben. Ben upstairs is like ah, 
At this point, right, you know, Dylan genuinely thinks that something, like, terrible has happened. So, like, Dylan, like, runs up assuming that there's, like, a robber or something. He's like, Ben, Ben, what's wrong? And he goes up there, and no one's there. Ben is gone. So at this point, right, Dylan's kind of scared because Ben just screamed and then disappeared. And he's kind of thinking in his head, like, did someone, like, break into the, the house and, like, capture him? And he's thinking, no, that, that can't be. That's too fast. Like, I, I was just down here for a minute. And, I mean, as soon as Ben screamed, within, like, 20 seconds, Dylan was, like, all the way upstairs. And he didn't see anyone. So Dylan's, like, looking around. He's like, oh, my God, what could have happened? And he looks at the kitchen door because the kitchen door – because, like, the basement was right above the kitchen. And in the kitchen, there was a door that led outside. And he turned around to the kitchen door. And sure enough, the kitchen door was wide open. He's like, shoot, 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 shoot. So he runs out there. And he's like, Ben, Ben, where are you? And so he's kind of like he, – he goes outside. He's looking around. And he hears another faint, ah. He's like, okay, like – shoot, Ben, are you okay, Ben? And he starts, like, yelling out for Ben. And, you know, you know, I mean, Dylan is just kind of, like, running in the direction that he heard Ben, like, faintly scream. He's just like, oh, my God, like, he's thinking the worst right now. Dylan is legitimately thinking, all right, was he, like, captured? Was, like, w w what happened? Like, what? why? <laughs> like, why? Why me? I I'm just, like, trying to babysit this kid for as like a favor to like my mom's friend on a, like a Friday night. I'm not trying to like chase down a some kind of like burglar or kidnap or something. That's just not what I'm trying to do today. You know what I mean? I'm just not trying to do that. And anyways, right, you know, he, he starts like running down the street in the direction of Ben and he hears Ben yell again, ah, kind of very faintly in the distance. He's like, Ben, Ben, I'm coming for you. At this point, right, Dylan is basically breaking out into a full sprint and like, Thank God, like, Dylan is, like, a track athlete because the average person babysitting him probably would not have been able to sustain a full-on sprint for that long or, or would have been able to at least catch up with, you know, Ben at this point. And, uh, yeah, eventually, right, you know, Miles is, like, running around. He's like, or not Miles, sorry, my bad. I know Dylan's like, oh, my God, like, Ben, 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 where's Ben? Where's this kid? Where'd he go? And then eventually, right, you know, he sees, you know, he sees Ben. He's like, Ben. And Ben is like several like miles away from or uh, probably about like a mile away from the house he's like kind of like cuddled up kind of like crouched up fetus position whatever in like some random dude's yard he's like he's like ben what happened and and ben was kind of just all curled up and you know at this point you know dylan was like ben what happened like are you okay and ben looks up at him and he explains why he ran away Real quick, comment Freddy down below if you made it this far into the video. I'll be trying to dish out some hearts to people who comment Freddy down below as a way to say thank you. I can't get to them all, so maybe comment Freddy two or three times if you want a better shot of getting a heart. And anyways, back to the story. Anyways, right, Ben says, uh, through like kind of like tears and kind of choking up a little bit, he's like, I, I know you're not going to believe me, but I actually saw Freddy. I, I, I saw Freddy. He was in the house. He was looking right at me. I'm sorry, Dylan. Like, I had to run. And at this point, Dylan is, like, in his head. He's like, dude, you cannot be serious, bro. I thought you were, like, captured. I thought someone came for you. I thought you were in serious danger. But, but Dylan didn't want to be mean to this kid. He obviously looked distraught. Like, Ben was pretty clearly not pulling a prank on him, not pulling a fast one. He genuinely thought this big scary like monster animatronic was in the house after him and he kind of felt a little bad but he did say you know dylan was like to ben he's like ben you can't just be doing that like i legitimately thought you got kidnapped and, and ben's like dude i know i'm sorry like i i didn't mean for any of this but i really saw him so you know dylan sits there kind of thinks about it for a second he's like ben we're gonna go back to the house and we're gonna go through the entire house you and me we're not going to separate again. It's going to be you and me, and we're going to go through every square inch of the house, and I'm going to prove it to you that it's just in your imagination so that you can feel safe. Dylan's a good guy, right? Bro, a lot of people would be very mad. They would be mad at Ben. Like, they would just be like, I'm done with this kid. But Dylan, he's a stand-up guy. He's a good kid, right? Because he went out of his way to just, you know, make sure that Ben was feeling safe. So, you know, they walk back, and eventually they, they get back to the house, and Ben is just, like, looking at the door, like, all, like, nervous and scared or whatever. And, uh, you know, Dylan's like, don't worry about it, man. Come on in. And they walk into the house, and someone's actually sitting at the front table. And Dylan's like, hey, like... Like, hello? And a guy turns around, and Dylan recognizes him as Ben's older brother. 
And Dylan's like, oh, man, I didn't know you were going to be here. And, you know, Ben's older brother, who's like, I'd say like, he's probably 12 at this point when, you know, Ben is nine. Ben's older brother's like, yeah, sorry, I was upstairs playing video games earlier. Like, I'd like, sorry, I didn't come down earlier. And, you know, Dylan was like, all right, that's fine. You're that, That's okay. Like, just know I'm here till, you know, your, your parents come back and I'll be putting you to bed and, you know, whatever, right? You know, Ben's older brother's like, all right, like, sorry, I didn't say anything earlier. Dylan didn't think much of it until, you know, they went upstairs and Dylan saw what Ben saw. When Dylan and Ben were going around, like, scavenging, like, every square inch of the house to make sure that Freddy Fazbear wasn't actually in there, right, they eventually got to Ben and Ben's older brother's room, and they went around, and Ben was like, because they went in there, Dylan's like, all right, no one's in here, and Ben's like, check the closet, because, like, you know, the monsters always hide in the closet, man. That's just, like, that's a simple fact we all know. So, but, you know, uh, Dylan's like, all right, fine, whatever. Dylan opens up the closet and is taken aback because what he sees in there is, like, a paper mache Freddy Fazbear costume. At first, he jumps a little bit because it low-key looks like the real deal. And even though he knew for a fact that, you know, Freddy Fazbear is not actually real, right? He doesn't actually exist. You know, he jumped for a sec because he was, that was the last thing he was expecting to see when he opened that up. He's like, geez, like, what's this? Whatever. He goes in and he kind of like, he looks in the closet and Ben's like, is there anything in there? And, you know, Dylan's like, nope, nothing's in there. But he kind of like, Dylan goes in and like, kind of like looks at the, the costume and realizes that it's a costume in the closet that Ben's older brother uses. And then he realizes and he's like, wait a minute, Ben, what did you exactly see? And Ben like started to get nervous again and tear up a little bit. He's like, I, I saw this big, this this big Freddy. He was standing in the staircase and he was just looking at me. And at this point, Dylan was like, ah. Uh. Dylan put two and two together and realized that Ben's older brother was playing a prank on Ben and uh, almost got him in a lot of danger, to be honest. So, you know, sure enough, you know, eventually time goes by and it's time for them to put them to, or it's time for Dylan to put them to bed. And they go to bed. Dylan's just kind of sitting there waiting for Ben's mom to return. And when Ben's mom, when Ben's mom returns, Dylan explains what happens and then also explains what he found in Dylan's older brother's closet. And let's just say that uh, Dylan's older brother got quite a talking to. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like on the video and then click on one of the four videos on screen right now to support the channel. Peace.